Today is a wonderful day, because we get to talk about Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, directed by Wes Ball and starring Owen Teague, Kevin Durand, and Freya Allen. Many generations have passed since Caesar's death, and Earth now more or less resembles the world that Charlton Heston landed on back in the day. Several tribes of apes are the dominant species, and a virus has sapped humans' intelligence, rendering them feral and unable to speak. But it hasn't completely wiped out human intelligence, as a young chimp named Noah discovers a human girl named May, who is not at all feral. After his village is attacked by a rival clan, and his people are either captured or killed, Noah goes on a quest to rescue what's left of his family. May joins him on this quest, as this rival clan of apes possesses something very important to her. The rebooted Planet of the Apes series has been pretty good so far, and I would say they are now 4 for 4. I would not say this is the best of the franchise, and that's really to be expected. I mean, the movie had a hard act to follow after Dawn and War. It's also the first film in this rebooted series to not feature Caesar, although his name and his teachings are still mentioned quite often. Visually, it's fantastic, what can I say? They did a great job designing this post-apocalyptic world where all of the old buildings are just completely overgrown, and there's all these remnants of the old human civilization with skyscrapers, baseball stadiums, observatories, and we get to see different ways that the apes have designed their own communities. Noah's clan, which is big on practicing falconry, is all about the wooden structures, whereas the warlike coastal clan, led by Proximus, has a lot more metal in their architecture, and the apes themselves just... it's amazing what you can do with computer animation nowadays. I mean, I really shouldn't be surprised at this point, it's the fourth movie in the series, but it still wows me. And behind all that CGI are some excellent motion capture performances. I thought Owen Teague was great as Noah, a youth who has to grow up very quickly after his village is attacked, and he has some very funny moments with his father's falcon, who apparently does not have a very high opinion of his master's son, at least not at first. To be fair, the bird has a point, he still has a lot to learn. I liked Peter Macon as Raka, a wise orangutan that Noah meets on his journey. He's a virtuous fellow who is very big on preserving the teachings of Caesar, who has more or less become the ape Jesus. I was a little disappointed that he wasn't in more of the movie. I liked him. Kevin Durand was great as Proximus Caesar, no relation to the previous Caesar, although he certainly fancies himself as a successor. He's a very loud and bombastic ape who rules his people with an iron fist. And unlike Raka, he preaches a more perverted version of Caesar's teachings, which is what makes me very disappointed that Raka was not in more of the movie. I would have liked to see some interaction between those two, but we never really got it. We also have William H. Macy as one of the few humans in this world who can still talk. He is a very opportunistic bastard who is doing his best to stay close to Proximus because you tend to do well when you're in the King's Good Graces. I wasn't all that high on the character May, honestly, and it wasn't really Freya Allen's fault. Her performance was fine, it's just there wasn't all that much to the character. She's basically there to keep the plot moving, and she probably could have kept it moving a little faster because this movie is just a hair under two and a half hours, and I don't know that it needed to be. And without spoiling anything, there is this big reveal at the end, which is not the way I would have gone. I think they would have been better off hinting at what they revealed instead of showing it outright and save something for the next movie, assuming they plan to keep making these movies. But even with those minor quibbles, it's still a solid entry in the franchise. Some great mocap work and excellent visual effects, and if you enjoyed the previous movies in the series, this is at least worth a matinee. And that's all I have to say about Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Until next time, have a wonderful day!